Hi guys, it is Tamara. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome back. Today I just want to teach you briefly a tool that may be helpful to you. And the reason I say that this is helpful is because it's self-reflective activity. It's a self-reflective acti activity. And it really does help you zone in on what you have control over versus what you do not have control over. And I think that this may be helpful to you. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. For all of you who are subscribed and participating, thank you so much. I'm always grateful for your participation and for those who are new I encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can stick around with us and be a part of our growing and validating community the benefits for you in today's video is I'm going to teach you one activity that may be helpful it's a self-reflective activity I need to be reminded you know that okay I have control over this part of my world and I don't have control over this part of my world. You know, I can only control this. And, you know, I'm the kind of person where, you know, I'm not type A personality, I'm more of a type B, but um, I think there's certain things that I can be type A about, you know. If I have something that needs to be done or somebody's relying upon me, or I know that I have to get up and get things done. I can't rest. I have to do it. Unfortunately, you know, that can sometimes lead me to believe that I have control over everything when I really don't. And so um, I think that um, we need to be reminded sometimes, hey, you don't have control over that like you think you do. And here's why. And so I'm going to teach you an activity. It's called Things Out of My Control. And so here's how I want to encourage you to do it. So I usually encourage my kids to draw a donut because I think it's kind of cool for them, you know. Hey, draw me a donut and go ahead and put some sprinkles on it. And they, you know, they have fun with it. And then I'm able to teach them at the same time. But for you, I want you to draw a square. And if you want to, um, I encourage you to do this activity with me, okay, just so that you can get a feel for it. So you can consider this a square, you can consider it a microwave, you can consider it a, a 3D square, but this is how it looks, okay guys? This is how, okay, sorry, my camera was looking kind of weird. This is how it looks, okay guys? That's what I want you to have, like a 3D square. Um, at the very top of this, I want you to put um, things out of my control so things out of my control so things out of my control and on the inside I want you to put things in my control and I'm gonna show you so you know what I'm doing okay like that things out of my control is for this part and things in my control is for this part okay all right so things out of my control let's just start making a list okay and this is really to help us zone in on what we really do have control of okay so I'm gonna say uh, I things out of my control would be my health to a certain extent right because I I tend to be a very healthy person I don't eat red meat you know I eat fish and chicken sometimes and that's where I eat lots of green leafy things I eat lots of seeds I eat lots of fresh vegetables and fruits and frozen things so I'm, I'm not really the kind of person that would just snack and eat really badly uh, however I ended up with COVID-19 and no matter how clean I was and, and how um, up on hand sanitizer I was and Lysol, bleach, it didn't matter. I still got sick. So my health was a little bit out of my control there, you know. And it really was up to my respiratory system and my lungs um, and my willpower. And it was up to God, if you ask me. That's, that's my belief system. It was up to God and it was up to my respiratory system and my lungs to do the work. I, I wanted to get up. I could not, you know. So I'm going to say my health, right? Because part of that I can control, part of that I can't control. So here's the way I'm going to do this. That I'm going to say my diet and my nutrition is in my control, okay? So my diet and nutrition is in my control. My health is really out of my control because at the end of the day, we don't know how our health is gonna fail no matter how healthy we are, right? So my health, another thing out of my, my control would be Corona, you know, try really hard to block that, that didn't work. Um, so Corona's out of our control. Traffic is another one, uh, mean people, I've seen a lot of those these days. Um, irritable, irritable people, right? People who are not being very kind, very nice. 
I've seen lots of those. Um, I'm gonna say um, uh, other, the motivation of other people. So motivation of others, that's out of my control. Um, I also can't control uh, the rules of society, right? We can vote maybe if you believe in that. Uh, you know, we can make our voices heard. We can march, we can protest, uh, but we really can't change the, the rules of society, right? We, we, we have things in place and they're in place because they've worked, right? We have a police force because it's worked. We have a political structure because it's worked, right? We have rules of society that requires us to be um, positive pro-social people because it's worked, right? We can't go in a grocery store and act like we want to act because we're going to get kicked out of there. So there's rules there, right? So, so we have certain rules in society that we can't change, right? Uh, we also can't change the past. That's something that's out of our control. We also can't control who our family are. Right? I mean, there's lots of family members. Uh, well, let me just say this. I love my family. Okay, I love my family. But there are some people that's cut out in the family where I'm like, how are you kin to me? And, and then the other part of that is like, do you really act like that? Those are my thoughts. It's like, oh my God, how, how did you become my family? And uh, so we can't control who our family members are, right? So this is how your paper should be looking, guys. All right, this is how it should be looking. I'm sorry, I keep getting in the light. So this is, this is how it should be looking, right? So you wanna make sure that that square, the outer part of that square is getting filled in. Another thing that I can't control is, um, I really can't control money. Now, you can control uh, how you spend your time to make money, but you really can't control the 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 um, flow of money in your life, right? Because we get on hard times and then sometimes we get sick and, and sometimes we lose jobs, and right? So I'm gonna say that I can control my, my work um, I can control how often I work sometimes, um, but you definitely can't control the flow of money, right? So, so this is what I want you guys to do. Okay. And you want to fill up everything, right? You want to fill out the outer boxes and you want to fill up the inner box, the things that are in your control. And the whole idea behind this activity is to kind of help you zone in on what's in, in your control and what's not in your control. And one of the things I like about this is I usually tell my anxious clients, the ones who are very, very anxious, the ones who, you know, have a really hard time uh, keeping up with controlling their emotions. I tell them, do this before bedtime. It's like a, a garbage can technique. It's like throwing everything on the paper that's bothering you, sorting it out, and then going to bed. And so uh, this might be a fun activity for you, maybe for somebody else that you know. I usually use this activity with teenagers and uh, uh, kids because sometimes kids feel like, I want to control things and I don't have control, or teenagers. And so this is a good uh, self-awareness activity. So I hope it's, it's helpful to you in some way. Thank you so much for being with me today, guys, in this video. I, I hope it was helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section below if this is going to be helpful to you. If you want to see more videos, if you want more techniques, I will bring them to the channel um, because my clients, you know, tend to love the techniques I give them. They think they're creative and pretty cool. So um, if you want me to bring more to the channel, just let me know. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.